Okay, how to stop failing your math class, and more importantly, what you need to do in order to actually pass. Okay, so that's the focus of this video. My name is John, and uh, I have taught math for many, many years, and this is what I do. Taught uh, public school, private school, uh, online, homeschooling, you name it, I've, I've seen it. So I've had a chance um, uh, to be in a position uh, to you know, work with a lot of students that have been struggling, especially like in public school. And I wanna kinda uh, share with you not only my feedback, but just knowing how teachers think. That's really the whole purpose of this video is giving you some kind of insight on how teachers think in terms of students that are failing their class. So that's gonna really uh, help you um, if you can uh, understand the psychology of this for a second. But what I'm going to share with you, I'm going to share with you three things that are going to help you stop failing your class and more importantly get you on track to um, uh, to pass. Now, if you're looking for some sort of magical formula here, then I think you, you know, you'll probably not want to watch the rest of this video. But here's the thing. Before you leave, guess what? The problem is not going to fix itself. You're going to end up failing your math class likely. You know, and I'm, you know, what's the point of uh, sitting in a class for a semester or a year and then ending up with a D or an F um, or even like say a C minus when you, you, you know, you could get a better grade. Um, so there really aren't any shortcuts, but there's some smart, intelligent things you can do, especially if you've been struggling uh, and, you know, you're really, you're really falling behind and now you're really concerned that you're very well may, you know, uh, fail this class. Okay. So let's get into three things that are going to really help you out. Okay. So the first thing is talk to your teacher. Wow. That's like, like, well, that's so obvious. That, how's that going to help me out? Listen, this is really important. Okay. When a student is failing, the teacher sees that student uh, fail. So let's, let's kind of draw a little stick figure here. Here's the teacher and the teacher has a class, right? There is a lot of students, da, 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 da. Here, 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 okay? Some are doing well, a lot are doing average, a few are struggling and one or two are on uh, at risk of failing. So let's say this is you over here and you're failing. The teacher is just trying to manage all of this, okay? Everybody, all these folks, you know, or, or all these students are, you know, uh, kind of doing their own thing. So the teacher's trying to get the class, you know, uh, completed, you know, trying to get everybody through the class as, as successfully as you can. The teacher is not necessarily going to try to save you, okay? Now, it's a little bit different, let's say, in, uh, you know, whether it's college or high school or middle school or elementary school, et cetera, you know, um, and the type of school. So there are some varieties, of, but basically, here's the thing. You need to know that the teacher is busy. The teacher has not only your class, they have several classes. So you can get kind of a lost in a sea of students. Now, when a, when a teacher knows that a particular student is struggling, they're going to try to call some attention to that student and be like, hey, listen, you need to, you know, they're going to give you some advice. I, most good teachers are going to like, point out to you uh, what's going on. But here's the thing. The teacher might give you some quick advice or let people know, or they might let your parent know. But oftentimes, the student themselves is not coming to the teacher. So the teacher gets this kind of interpretation. Not all, but many teachers feel like that student, you know, doesn't really care. Now, this is especially true, like, let's say, at the high school level and definitely at the college level. If you are not talking to your teacher and saying, hey, uh, you know, I really want to pass this class. What should I do? What's going on? Da, da, da. If you're not expressing interest in passing, the teacher is going to, they're going to, they're not going to go the extra mile for you. Let's just say that much. Okay. If, teachers are people too. And I've seen it firsthand with teachers, they can make <laughs> the your a student's attitude can be the difference between passing and failing. As crazy as that as that sound, as as that, you know, you can have someone that has a sixty nine point nine, or you can round that up to a seventy. Okay, seventy being a C, this being a D plus. All right, failing and passing. The, the teacher has a lot of discretionary power, so. 
in order for you to stop failing, okay, you need to express your interest in passing to the teacher. So, you know, uh, the more personal you, you can do this, the better. So if you physically can see your teacher, you know, uh, after class or something, go to them. Hey, listen, I know I'm struggling. I'm, uh, um, you know, I, I want to pass your class. You know, uh, what can I do? That type of thing. Show your show the teacher that you care. All right. And this is not a, like a little thing. This is going to set this teacher up in the right kind of mental state to be like, hey, this student, this student over here has uh, is, is, is really trying or they want to pass. OK, that type of thing. That's going to make the teacher want to do everything in their power to, to help you out. OK, it's trust me, this is a very big thing. Uh, not enough students uh, do. OK, so let's move on to our second thing. Oh, look at this. Nice and obvious, right? Extra help. Get extra help. <laughs> if you're failing your math class, get extra help. Guess what? The teacher can't do it all alone. If you're falling behind in, in, in math class, you got to get extra help or nothing's going to change likely. Now, what does extra help mean? Well, it can mean the following. All right, I'll just kind of do it this way. You need to see your teacher. Okay, not only do you need to see your teacher, hey, I want to pass your class. Can I get extra help from you? When you're talking about getting extra help, the first person you need to go seek extra help from is your math teacher. See them before class, at lunch, or after school, or whatever the case is. If you're doing an online class, email them, whatever. Pester them. Try to get that extra help. That's going to go a, a long, long way. And oftentimes, if you get extra help from your teacher, that typically for a lot of students will... I would say like 80% of the students is going to cover um, your needs in terms of extra assistance, you know, outside of class. But if you're not getting, if you're struggling in class, you absolutely need to get extra help. Now, of course, you can you can find a tutor, right? Um, and you got to be careful because there's good tutors and bad tutors, uh, uh, etc. And they can, tutoring can, can become uh, expensive for sure. But if you're in college, uh, uh, for example, there is um, there should be some sort of like math uh, study center. There's all kinds of different uh, people that could help you. So you so you're gonna have to kind of seek that out. Another way to find extra help is like with um, uh, my program, uh, the Tabit Class Math Academy. I'll leave a link in the description of this video um, uh, below. So. Basically, it's online course. Not, uh, let's say you're taking geometry and you're struggling in geometry. Well, you can use my program, for example, to get that additional instruction, practice problems, that type of thing. So you can go and get like online help as well. So you, know, you can also do all, all three of these, depending on what your you know uh, situation is. But always start with uh, the teacher. Okay. Now. In extra help, one thing I'm coming, I'm going to throw in a little bit additional. You need to work extra. I like this word, extra. You need to work extra hard. Okay. You need to put more effort into your work. Now, listen. Again, uh, I'm assuming that you know, yeah, you actually, you know, are motivated to want to pass your class and you're struggling because you don't get the material. If you're kind of like, oh, um, I hate math. I'm just trying to just skate through and just pass this thing. God, give me some quick tips so I can just like quickly do it. Guess what? That's not going to work for you. And if you get lucky enough to, to um, pass, you're not going to probably pass the next year. And then you're setting yourself up with a real bad lesson learned in life. Like, And that is, I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to cheat my way out of this. It's not a good approach. Okay, So if you got to take this math class, you know what? Take it, do it the best you can, pass it, and move on, okay? All right, let's talk about our third thing here, and that is makeup work, all right? So ask your teacher for uh, if, if we could do anything, you know, and I would you know, beg with them, all right, can I make up any work? Can I do past homework assignments that I do? Is there anything additional I could do? If they say no, no once, guess what? Ask them like every week or every other week. Just keep asking them um, through the the whole remainder of the course. So here's the thing: a lot of students don't realize. Let's say here's a, uh, the semester, right? And let's say this is the whole year long, and you're struggling like right here. You're starting to fail. Even if you get back on track right here, you know 
just because you failed a couple tests, that still hurt your grade. Still, throughout this whole time, see if there's anything additional you can do throughout the whole year, okay, until that class is done. Keep asking your teacher, is there anything else I can do? Anything else I can do? Pester, pester, pester. Eventually, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes a teacher will be like, oh, okay, well, here, give me these, give me these uh, past um, uh, assignments and I'll give you partial credit or whatever the case is. You know, they're going to try to um, find something that's fair to the rest of the students to, to give you some sort of, you know, um, opportunity to, to get yourself in a better uh, grade, especially if it's close. So this is the one thing I want you to understand about teachers. They're looking at the teacher. Once they got this student who's mo like, like wants to, you know, uh, do better and all that kind of stuff, they'll look at the student scenario and they'll be like, okay, this student is at a 67%, but they've worked really hard because they've come from a 55%. They're showing that improvement, da, 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 da. I got to get that person to 70%. They're going to want to get you there, okay? Even if there's no more points, say, available, they'll make something up. Most teachers <laughs> I know will find a way to get you to, 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 that, to that finish line. But you have to be asking. You have to be asking. Now, the, what I have here is in, 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 in uh, chronological order. In other words, I want you to do these things in this step. When it comes to makeup work, here's what ends up happening. A lot of students will just sit here and fail, 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 and then they'll be like, oh, teacher, can I do anything to make up this work? That's wrong. That's not good. A lot of teachers will be like, no, you had your chance because you're not expressing a real desire to pass the class. You got to make sure you're talking to your teacher and you're sincere, like not like – you can't be like, oh, I want to, okay, I, I want to pass this class. I'm struggling. What can I do? You know, da 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 da, and then like be disrupting class, come in late, not do your homework. I mean, if that's the case, guess what? You're gonna end up failing your 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 math class. So if you think about it, how to stop failing your math class? The first question really should be like, well, do you need to change? You you the student need to change. Okay. Now there are times. And I'll and I say this um, very sincerely is that you can have a bad teacher, your environment, your class can be very disruptive. All those things are are part of the equation as well. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes you know there's it, you know it's difficult uh, for you as a student to 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 make a change uh, to affect that in your environment. However, these things still will help. Okay, like these are the main things to do to help to really turn around your grade in a math class. Okay, but don't go in terms of the uh, makeup work. All right, don't do this first. Don't be like, hey, can I retake the test? Can I? Uh, my homework was late. Can I turn it in for partial credit? Your teacher, you know, that might work uh, like for the first week, you know, but it's not going to uh, work uh, long range. So, anyways. Trust me, okay? I'm a teacher. I make tests, all right? I know students. I've unfortunately I've had to fail students. It's very difficult to do. But don't think that your teacher, it's not, um, your teacher's not capable of failing you. A lot of people, they, 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 a lot of students cannot believe that, they, that, the, that the teacher actually failed them. It's difficult. It's it's very difficult for the t for a teacher. They don't want it. They know the impact of what's going to happen. So, so uh, but at the end of the day, a, t uh, a teacher, most teachers aren't just going to just pass you just because they don't want to hurt you. Okay, you have to kind of earn that minimum um, passing grade for sure. So you follow these uh, follow these three steps, you're going to um, go a long way in your math class for sure, especially if you're having difficulty. Okay, so anyways, um, hopefully you found some value in this video. Um, I do a ton of stuff, try to uh, help um, all types of folks out in the area of math. So please consider subscribing, and if you do, make sure you hit that bell notification so you can get my latest videos. And if you like this video, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up and comment. Um, I get a lot of comments on my videos. I try to read as many as I can. It gives me ideas on uh, future videos and uh, definitely um, gives me feedback on how I'm doing as well. Again, if uh, you're looking for additional math help and you like my teaching style, I have full math courses that you can use as kind of tutorials. A lot of people use my uh, programs in that manner. You don't have to actually take my math course, but you can use it as 
to kind of assist you in your math course. But if you're interested in my math courses, there's a link in the description of the video. You can check them out there. But uh, thanks for your time and have a great day.